Uh, next, coming to the super buffer, the uh, asymmetry of the conventional inver inverters are not desirable, especially they will uh, when we have to drive large capacitive loads, uh, they will lead uh, to significant delay problems. To avoid the super buffers are used. In super buffers, the gate voltages are increased. As the gate voltage increases, the drain current increases. And as the current increases, the delay will decrease. So now in the, there are two types in the super buffer. One is inverting and non-inverting. First, coming to the inverting and more super buffer. When input is VDD, this T2 transistor is on and T4 is also on. When T2 is on, the output in this node will go to 0. When the output in this node goes to 0, the same output is also fed to the transistor gate of transistor T3. This node voltage itself is given to this gate. It is going through this, the same gate. This is connected to this as well as to this gate. So this voltage is given to the gate of transistor T3. Since voltage is 0 here, gate voltage, the transistor T3 is off. Since gate of this transistor T4 is also connected to V in, which is VDD, uh, VD, since VGS is equal to VDD, the voltage is very this high. Therefore, the drain current will be also high and quickly the output node gets discharged. Similarly, when V in is 0, this transistor T2 is off and T4 is also off. Since T2 is off, the node at the voltage at this node will be VDD. The same no, this voltage is given to the gate of transistor T3. This voltage gate of transistor T3 will be VDD. Since uh, IDS is proportional to VGS, because the gate voltage is more, IDS drain current will also be more and it will quickly charge the output capacitor. Now, the raising time will also increase. The asymmetry will be decreased. Since IDS is more, the delay will be less and the output node or the output capacitor is quickly charged. So, the raising time will be less as compared to the previous inverter. And this is an inverting type because the input and output are when input is VDD, output is 0. When input is 0, output will be VDD. Next, coming to the non-inverting type. In non-inverting type, in the non-inverting type, this is inverting. In non-inverting type, when V in is equal to VDD, the transistor T2 and the transistor T3 is off. The, the, when it is uh, VDD transistor T2 and T3 are on and because this T2 is on the node at this voltage will be 0 and the same voltage this voltage now node, the voltage at this node is fed to the gate of transistor T4 since the node at this voltage is 0 the same gate voltage is fed the same voltage is fed to the gate of T4 which is also 0 so T4 will be off since this gate, this same voltage is fed to T3, gate of T3. It is nothing but VDD. And as we know, IDS, the drain current which will be flowing will be proportional to the gate voltage. As gate voltage is more, IDS will be more. And this IDS will quickly charge the output voltage. So, raise time will be more. And we see that this is non-inverting because both input and output are at the same voltage. When VDD is, input is VDD, output is also VDD. When input is 0, output is also 0. When we are giving a 0 input voltage, these two transistors are off. Since this is off, output node at this voltage is VDD, which is fed to transistor T4. T4 is on. And since the gate voltage is VDD, which is uh, high, the drain current will be high and it will quickly discharge the output old node or the output capacitive load. So now the asymmetry is reduced by increasing the drain current. When you are increasing the drain current, the delay gets reduced. Next, the other option to uh, reduce the delay would be using bi-CMOS driver. That is, we know that bi-CMOS uh, capacitors, they have better uh, Again, compared to CMOS, uh, CMOS devices. 
that is uh, the delay characteristics of CMOS is not good when compared to the uh, BJT transistors. The output current of BJT transistor is high. Therefore, the delay will be less. Because of this, these bipolar transistors are used at the output side of the uh, mass transistors when they are driving the capacitive loads. We see here uh, BJT transistors are connected at the output side because they have high current and because of the high current, the delay gets reduced. This is one uh, that is why CMOS drivers can reduce the delay. Next, when we are looking at the delay estimation, we see that initially the CMOS device will have a load that is less delay, but as the load, as the capacitance value increases, by CMOS, the delay value of CMOS device will be more, whereas the delay value of by CMOS device will be less. Therefore, it is better to use a by CMOS device than using a CMOS when more, we have to drive a higher load capacitive capacitance. Uh, please uh, note down this problem and try to do this. Uh, it, if not, you can refer to the textbook, Parknell textbook, it is there. But uh, note down this problem and uh, try to do it. It is the same problem what we did in this. Uh, it is similar to this. You will have to find the capacitance values for different layers. Similar to this problem here. Uh, what we did uh, similar to this I had asked you to write it down so similar to th this is uh, same so please uh, try to solve this problem it is uh, you can refer to Parknell textbook if you have with you uh, please write it down and try to solve this and with this we have completed the two modules